Welcome back guys. In our previous Illustrator tip, I show you guys how to map a 2D vector map into a 3D object in Illustrator. In this tip, I will show you guys how to make the same mapping for opacity map. If you are familiar with uh, 3D softwares like 3D Studio Max, you guys should already know what is an opacity map. So basically opacity map is with the black and white colors. We will hide the part in 3D which are black using the opacity map. Same in here we can do in Illustrator using the 3D opacity map. I will show you guys how to do that. In Illustrator's case, you don't need to worry about colors. As you guys can see in here, I have this abstract uh, object which is created with the opacity map. And I will try to recreate the same object using the opacity map. All right, so let's get started. First thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the areas which are going to be visible. In this case, we need to have four stripes. I'm going to go to the basic shapes and draw one rectangle in here. And I will copy these rectangles. I want four copies. And then I will distribute and place them equal distance and make them as a group if you want and select this and now convert this to a symbol. Same as earlier. Select the object, go to symbols and create new symbol. You can define a name. I'm just going to leave it as it is and OK. I'm going to place this uh, symbol aside for now. And now we need to create the donut shape. OK, go to ellipse and create a small uh, circle like this. You can define a different color for this ellipse. Now select the ellipse, go to effect 3D and select reward. Same as earlier tutorial and make sure your preview is on and you can bring the offset bigger and you can play with the rotation and the angle to get the perfect angle all right once you are satisfied again go to the map art in here which will bring up the map and again select the symbol you have created from here as you can see our symbol is placing nicely and again in here you can select the scale to fit option which will place the map exact size of the full donut shape and in here you can see two of these shapes are next to each other you can correct this by moving on this map in here when you move the map you can see the object also updated I think this look fine just a bit in here I think this should be okay and I'm just going to select okay before that we only need to show these parts highlighted in white color and we need to hide the parts in uh, red color to do that just select the invisible geometry from here which will hide the transparency part of this symbol and only show the parts which have solid surfaces all right so i'm just going to select okay and here also i'm just uh, you can rotate if you want a different angle you can still change the angle it won't affect the transparency i'm just going to say okay okay so now we have completed the first version let's go and expand this one you need to ungroup this uh, this part is a bit tricky. You may have to release a lot of clipping mass, a lot of time and also ungroup a couple of times because there are so many hidden objects in here. Make sure to ungroup everything and release all these objects and delete the unnecessary part. Only keep the parts which you are going to use in your artwork. So I will ungroup and delete these unnecessary portions. Sometimes you may seem it's a bit confusing but once you understood how it works, it's easy for you guys. All right. So I have deleted all the unnecessary portions and kept only the portions which I need to use in my artwork. And I will also apply some temporary colors for to easily see which portion is which. And sometimes some of these small objects may be behind the bigger objects. So you may have to bring them to the top. All right, now we have a pretty good idea about the shape. And you can see in here, our object has been divided into many small pieces. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect these pieces individually by portion by portion. 
to do that i'm going to use the shape builder tool pretty easy just select the portions you want to connect and go to shape builder tool and just drag from one shape to another you are done so i do the same for all other shapes in here I will also make this part a bit faster. All right, guys, uh, this seems fine. Now what I will do is I will apply some uh, gradients in here to have some light effect. So inside I will have some shades of red and for the top portion, I will have some uh, maybe pink or purple color. We don't need to follow exactly the same as our original design. I'm just going to show you guys how to make these uh, shapes and objects, uh, all right? Okay, so I will create this uh, gradient. Let's apply this gradient in here. And I think I will create a new gradient for the top portion. Just copy this one. And I'm just going to apply a different color in here. And for this one, yeah, this color. Okay, and I will select these and apply this gradient. All right, so this portion is done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the inside donut portion. Let's draw a small ellipse in here. And again, go to filter and apply the last apply filter from the selection, which is the 3D revolve. And it will add the same settings as earlier go to appearance and select the filter for modify and for this design we don't need the map so select the map and clear everything and say okay and activate the preview and see if it's all okay all looks fine and just select okay don't worry about the shading for this one later we will work on that now place the small donut on top of the bigger donut and you can also resize to show it look like it's inside the donut. I think this side is okay. Now only select the top portion of the bigger donut and bring it to the front. Now it look like it's inside the donut. All right, I will delete these unnecessary shapes in here and I will make this one as a group. And now I will select this inside donut, go to edit and expand. And it became one object. Now we can work with the colors. I'm just going to apply some random colors in here. Just a blue color will do. And I will select this one and make one more copy, same as our original design. And let's make it a bit smaller. And for this one, I will apply a different color. Maybe a red color. A yellow color will do all right okay so this is almost similar to our original design if you go back and see our original design in here we have this design and there is one more i will copy one more from this yellow circle in here all track and place it in here make it a bit smaller and maybe i apply a red color for this one all right, so our object is looking similar to the original design. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this original design and modify this one a little bit more further. This uh, center circle is just an ellipse with a stroke. There are two ellipses in here, one just a stroke. The other one for the stroke, I have applied a blur effect. I will show you guys how I did it. I make a copy in here, put the effect and select blur and select Gaussian blur. You can adjust the parameter until you get a nice glow effect. Then you can place on top. All right. Okay. I'm just going to delete this. Okay. So let's uh, start doing the center portion, which you saw on the thumbnail. It's really easy. Draw an ellipse in here and then go to effect and apply the same effect you applied earlier. Go to effect and apply the 3D revolve effect. And again, go to the settings and make sure you've got no shading in here. Now select this 3D object and expand. And again, ungroup. Now select only the surfaces you need and apply the colors from your current design. I will select the darker tone for this bottom part and the lighter tones for the top part. 
And I will also make these things as one object using the shape builder and pathfinder tool. Make it smaller, place it on top here, and we are done. And in here, you can adjust the size of this to go with the circle below to fit in nicely. I think this one should do. And yeah, so this is our design, guys. Hopefully, this look fine. Little bit adjustment in here and there. All okay, good. All right, guys. So this is how you can create 3D looking uh, abstract objects in Illustrator very easily. You can draw these objects using pen tool or any other tools in Illustrator. And this is one of the easiest method in Illustrator to do some of these 3D objects. All right. And again, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next uh, tutorial.